Welcome back to Simplo School. Today we will talk through the topic of business case and feasibility analysis. Within these two topics, we will discuss definitions, characteristics, and go through questions and answers. As a reminder, please feel free to comment your suggestions below on different topics you would like me to cover. And lastly, be on the lookout for an online course that I'm creating in the near future. This can help you prepare even further for the CISA exam. What exactly is a feasibility analysis? A feasibility analysis is a broad and general analysis to assess the practicality and requirements within established budgets and schedules. One concept to remember for the exam is that a feasibility analysis typically includes general information to examine the feasibility of a proposal. Moving on, what is a business case? A business case is a proposal that provides detailed information required for an organization to decide whether a project should proceed. One critical concept to remember is that a business case, unlike a feasibility analysis, includes specific details to justify the initiation of a proposal. Okay, so let's really solidify our understanding between a business case and a feasibility analysis. As mentioned before, the purpose of a business case is to provide detailed information for an organization to decide whether a project should proceed. Some of the characteristics of a business case include being the first step or precursor to the start of the project. Additionally, serving as a key element in the decision process throughout the project life cycle. And lastly, a business case is periodically reviewed, changed, and approved to ensure validity. On the other hand, as discussed before, a feasibility analysis provides a general analysis to assess the practicality and requirements of a project. The characteristics of a feasibility analysis include being used to formulate the initial business case, defining business needs and alternatives to address the needs, and lastly, including elements such as scope, requirements, and return on investment evaluation. Now, let's move on to some questions and test your knowledge. I really believe in you, so let's do it. All right, so here we go. Question number one. Which of the following should be included in a feasibility study to implement a new application? If you selected C, you are correct. The answer is the necessary cost implications. Remember, a feasibility study or analysis typically includes general and necessary information. A, B, and D are choices that would normally fit into a business case. Question number two, the most important consideration in a business case is, if you selected C, you are correct. The return on investment, also known as ROI, for a project. Although the other answers are considered, they are not deemed critical to the business case. The return on investment or benefits of the business case serves as a key element in the decision process. Question number three, the biggest concern of the implementation of a project is, if you selected D, you are correct. The business case is not prepared. Although the other selections are important, they are not as critical as the business case not being prepared. The business case needs to be established and approved before the start of the project. Question number four, the assessment which takes various broad factors into account to formulate the first business case is called? If you selected D, you are correct. Feasibility study. Remember, a feasibility study is an analysis which considers a variety of factors to determine the practicality of a project. This normally feeds into the business case. Question number five. I call this a bonus question because it's a little difficult. The business case needs to be stored and documented until? If you select the B, you are correct. The end of the project life cycle. A business case needs to be documented throughout the entire project because it serves as a key decision maker. As always, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. I will be posting more videos shortly. Thank you very much.